Hello! So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to get this really cool watercolor effect with alcohol inks. We're also going to talk about how to use the Cricut Design Space app on your phone to cut out your vinyl decals. Okay, so we're going to start by saturating our cup halfway with alcohol. This is 91% alcohol. And then we're just going to drop on our inks and use the heat gun to move it around. I'm going to add some more alcohol and then put on some yellow. I don't have a green alcohol ink at the moment, so I'm mixing this teal color, which is Mermaid from Tim Holtz, and some yellow, which is just cadmium yellow from Bria Reese. And I'm just going to mix those, go back and forth, do the blue and then the yellow until I get the color and the coverage that I want. At this point, I got kind of annoyed and I just dumped on a bunch of alcohol and inks and just mixed it all together and I ended up really liking how it turned out. I kept adding some more alcohol to lighten it and move things around until it was perfect. Or at least until I thought it was just right. For the sky, I'm just going to sponge on some light blue pearl ink from Tim Holtz. I forget the name of it, but it'll be listed down in the description. To do this, I actually don't use any alcohol at all. I find it really hard to work with the pearls, but for this technique, all you have to do is use a makeup sponge and put on a couple drops of the ink and then just sponge it on and move it around that way. You can see here that the bottom of the cup is kind of ugly. All I did to fix that is take another makeup sponge drenched in alcohol and sponge the bottom until it gave me the look I was going for. Okay, now that we have the cup done, we're gonna design the decals and I'm gonna do that on my phone. To start, first download the Cricut design space app then you're going to connect it to your bluetooth on your phone the pin for this is 000 then you're going to go into design space and start a new project you're going to click upload and you're going to choose the design that you want to use i'm using this little golfer guy swinging we're just going to remove the background and then hit smooth and press next so then name your file, choose cut file, and then hit save. Once it's saved, I'm gonna choose the files that I want to cut out and insert them into my project. I'm going to select each image and hit edit and then resize them. The golf ball is going to be 0.25 in width. The golfer is going to be two inches in width. I meant to do height, but it ended up working out better this way.
And then the flag is going to be one inch high, tall. <laughs> Once I have everything resized, I'm going to hit continue and then I would hit continue again. Doing this on your phone, you also have the option to do snap mat, which is basically just taking a picture of your mat and then you can move your image around in case you have an awkward sized piece of vinyl. Regardless of which option you chose, at this point you're going to hit continue and then you'll just select the kind of vinyl you're using. I always choose premium vinyl holographic if I'm using removable vinyl and then I always choose more pressure. This is just my personal preference. You can obviously use whatever you prefer. So then I'm gonna add my vinyl. I first sealed my cup really well using a sealer that has zero alcohol in it. You do not want to reactivate your inks and get them moving around again. I just used Rust-Oleum 2X Clear, but I know that there's a better one out there. Um, I just don't own it at the moment, but I'll have something linked down below that will work better. Now I'm just placing my decals where I like them, trying to decide how I personally like it to look, and then I'll just add them on. I really, really hate this golf ball decal, but I could not find another one that worked better, so I just went with it. It's a cup for my dad and I know he won't mind. Then it's time to add epoxy. You're gonna wanna do a couple thin layers on this cup and make sure you get the handle really well. Also, I know that there's that weird blue spot there and I'm not happy about it. I noticed it too late. I don't know what to say, but I'm not very happy about it. Then just hit it with your heat gun to pop all those bubbles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and all that jazz. And if you try this out, please tag me on Instagram because I'd love to see what you came up with.